Hi, okay, so today I want to talk about the products that I use. Um, some of them I have tried and I will be um, talking about those and then the other one I haven't tried but I heard really good reviews about them so uh, I picked them up and I will be trying them out but I also want to share those with you too. So. Conditioners. The first conditioner that I use, which is my favorite one, all time favorite so far um, since I've been transitioning for six months now, I've been using the Suave Professionals. Um, and I'm sure you guys heard about this, it's been all over everywhere. Um, the Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner. And it's with 100% natural almond shea butter and moisturizing for dry, damaged hair. Which, needless to say, it does just that. Um, it's first of all, it smells really good. Um, I'm not really big on smells because I'm just weird like this. I don't know. Um, not by my choosing, but I I get very nauseous with smells. Doesn't matter what it is. A heavy scent makes me nauseous. But um, I love this smell. It doesn't bother me at all. It actually smells really good, and it it just brings my hair alive. Like, I also have really dry hair, so, um, I like to use this because, for one, it, it, it does really good with the tape, and, um, it definitely leaves my hair moisturizing, like, my hair, thumbs up to the floor. Um, also, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say. Um, yeah, I don't know, so. Um, you guys should definitely try. Oh, what I was going to say is, um, I can, I do co-washes now. I mainly just do co-washes. I haven't shampooed my hair literally, um, in probably three months. Um, I've been completely co-washing it for two months, but I haven't shampooed it in three months. So, yeah, you should definitely go out and try this, if you haven't already. Um, another conditioner that I use was that's really great, um, is the... VO5 Herbal Escapes and it's the balancing conditioner, the Sun Kiss Raspberry with chamomile extract. Um this one smells good also. Um uh, one thing about these VO fives is that um they are very, very, very expensive. Um I got this from I wanna say Family Dollar for ninety nine cents, but I actually believe they're even cheaper at Walmart. They may be I think they run about 89, 87 to 89 cents at Walmart. Um, but what's a couple 20 cents? 99 cents. I mean, 10 cents. I'm sorry. It, it, it's a dollar. You can't beat that. So, um, what I like about this is that it has very good slip, um, very easy to detangle, leaves my hair smelling good, and I also believe that this moisturizes my hair too. So, I have no complaints about this. Um, I also have the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco, um, the Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. As you can see, I definitely use this. I love this. I love everything that is the uh, uh, Cream of Nature. I just, it, amazing. Cream of Nature, Argan Oil, Morocco, um, I love it. Um, definitely try this. This I got from, uh, I want to say maybe... Oh, I got this from Walgreens. Can't remember how much it was. I want to say about four ninety nine. Um, they're not too expensive. Um, but I like it. It's actually the only spray leave-in conditioner that I had. Um, the Suave, sorry, the Suave almond and shea butter. This is the um, the big one, and it was one ninety nine, two ninety nine. I'm sorry, this is two ninety nine. I do have the shampoo for that, but like I said, I don't shampoo my hair really, so I bought it just in case I want to, but that one I get one I now. I got for one now. Um, next is the Cantu Shea Butter, which you should all know about this. All of this, the leave-in conditioner, um, repair cream, smells great. Nothing but all thumbs up. The, I mean, it's just the best creation ever. Anything Cantu. This box. Um, next is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisturizer. 
I got this from the beauty supply store for six for the This smells amazing. Um, like I said, I'm not crazy about smells, but it smells really, really good. It doesn't make me sick, so this is always a good thing. Um, I use, I haven't used this um, too much, but when I did use it, I actually did like it. Um, to use as a moisturizer, it does say on the back that you can use this for. It says apply daily to target dry ends and prevent breakage. Um, use all of the mango butter moisturizer after application of breakage control serum, which I don't have that, but yeah, this is great. Um, so for my protein, I do use the organic food stimulator hair mayonnaise. As you can see, I use this a great deal. This is awesome. Everybody should know about this as well. Um, I use this maybe twice a month. I will use this. I, when I use this, I will say that that will be the only time I do use the shampoo when I do my protein drink. Um, I don't always use shampoo, but if I use shampoo, it will be with that. Um, next is the African Shea Butter. Got it from Boots Black, 349, 100% natural. Uh, I only use this once, but I used this when I did a twist out, and I didn't have to use anything else with it. I just used this, and my hair felt amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very moisturizing. Felt great. Okay, so next, um, I have my spray bottle. Everyone should own a spray bottle if you are transitioning or um, if you are already natural, you should definitely know that this is very important because water is the best, best, best thing for your hair. Um, this, actually I need to go buy another one. I started off putting nothing but water in it, but my friend um, moisturized my hair the other day and she just um, added some oil to this. So this is water mixed with oil. And I will be going out to buy another bottle so that I keep them separated with one with just water and one you know that I do not mix this with just one so I just have to add that in there. Um, next I have the olive oil by Organic Roof Stimulator, Stimulator I'm sorry it's the incredibly rich oil moisturizing hair lotion and if you don't know about this you should definitely go check this out go grab it because this is um, definitely essential to the hair it's a moisturizer and it smells good of course, a little goes a long way. Um, you don't want to put too much in your hair because it a little does a job. Um, this is this is, can definitely be used on an everyday basis. I love it. Uh, I've been using olive oil products since I was maybe sixteen. Uh, that was a long time ago, <laughs> ten years ago. But um, yeah, I love I love everything that's organic. So there you have it. Um, this here is the Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil, and um, I used it. it. This I love this smell. It smells like the. Um, it actually smells like the <clears throat> the dollar store like baby magic lotion or baby baby lotion whatever which I don't use because I just I don't use I won't go into cheap products but I don't use it but it smells just like it smells great but this is an oil that you know can be used for your hair your body bath everything um it's really really good it makes my hair feel good so you should definitely use this go out and buy something very cheap like $1.99 so you should definitely grab that um I um, I'm not complete without my eco salad gel. Um, no, seriously, like, the, I don't know what I would do without this. Like, I, I, I'd probably die. Um, it has the max hold of 10, which I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, and they also have the, uh, it's alcohol free. This is, to me, the best gel to use for your hair. Um, it is the Moroccan with argan oil. Um, a lot of people use, I mean, there's so many different kinds of eco salad gel that you can grab, but I prefer this because, like I said, I'm in love with the Morocco, argan oil, the Morocco. So, um, I love this one. A lot of people I see may um, really use the olive oil one, which I did pick up and was walking to the counter to get that when I saw the red top and I automatically knew 
that this was the argan oil so i put that back in at this one but i will be going back to get the um olive oil one also because like i said i love olive oil um products but um what was I gonna say? oh i'll be honest like i said before my hair is very 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 thick and it's very stingy so um i've never been able to use gel on my hair because it doesn't work like I ha I used to have bad tons of dryers. I've gone through so many different types of gels, gems, customs. Nothing works on my hair like eco style gel. Literally, it took me too long to even find it and realize it. I used to see it in the store because it was, to me, I thought cheap, which is I got it for four ninety nine from the juice plus store. And to me, I I don't know. This is a great price for this size, but I just thought it was a cheap gel, so I always overlooked it. Silly me. I just slapped myself in the face. Amazing. Amazing. Um, so if you don't have that already, go check it out. Next, the next best thing for my hair when it comes to holding it, which I found out the only two things for my hair is the cream of nature with argan oil, of course, go figure right, perfect edges. Um, this smells amazing, it does an amazing job. Yeah, love this. Um, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up. What I will say about this is, um, like I said, the gel holds my hair, but I put that on my all around, you know. Um, the, around the base of my hair, but this I just use um, if I want to just play with my edges a little bit more to slip them down. Mainly, I only use this um, by itself. Like I, I never really use the gel and this together because I really don't have to. But if I don't feel like putting gel in my hair at all, I just apply this to my edges and it works great to me. Like I said, everything works um, different for different people different hair types textures everything so for me and for maybe most of you um um thick thick hair um uh, girls this works better for me than the olive oil um edge control and i'll say that because for one one thing that i hate about the olive oil edge control is that it leaves my hair too flaky too dry white stuff all around everyone always thinks i have the edges in my hair and i hate that so um my friend actually put me onto this she was telling me that it doesn't leave your hair flecky so i had to go try it a hundred percent love this um i will never go back olive oil edge control again never why when i found this um one thing that i will say about this though is that it leaves your hair um very very oily um but shiny so to me, I like that because my hair is always so dry and it doesn't have a shine to it. So the fact that this gives it so much of a shine, I love that. I know someone who don't like it, but that's because her hair is not too oily. So I guess if your hair is not too oily, you probably might steer away from this and you might like the olive oil as a joke. But um, it doesn't make my hair hard, which is another reason why I like this. And of course, the olive oil um, edge control does. It doesn't make my hair hard, but it lays my hair down. So I like this. And that concludes all of the products that I use that um, I love. So thank you guys. Make sure you uh, please comment um, and subscribe. Any questions, anything you would like, let me know. Um, and see you guys in my next video. Bye.